Good day and welcome to the Sport Rep Show. I am your host, Jesse Jackson Kauraitha, bringing you yet another action packed show. Well, I find myself at the coast, and that's in the Rongo Studios, bringing to you what we call another Sport Rep Show. This time around, um, we go, let me show you the back page. Um, as you can see there, I Kali put it out. That's the politics in the NFA and Hai Kali and his entire executive has been actually booted out from the Namibia Football Association. The chaos continue there and I also take you through to the front page of the spot rep. Um, well, the spot rep front page, as you can see for yourself there, that's the boxing at Walfus Bay, a very cold night at Quisupmund. Well, boxers traded leather there and the beast hater was successful as well as many of the MTC Sunshine boxers. Well, that story will come to you in detail as well as you can see also Lesotho where our colleague Limba Mupetami is for the Region 5 Games happening that's in Lesotho. And now for your stories in detail. Pan-Africa Super Bantamweight winner Matthias Hater says his latest victory has opened doors for him for bigger things after a resounding victory against Zimbabwe's Tinashe Mwadziwana. Mwadziwana threw in the towel at the start of the sixth round after receiving a beating from Hater as from the first round of the bout. I was not under any pressure as from the first round because I had to fight under control. I would like to thank everyone who came in their numbers to watch me fighting. As a boxer, I came in this fight well prepared because I knew this was important for me to win this fight in view of the fact that it will open doors for me. Well, we have footage from the boxing bonanza that took place that's in Kwasa Moon. Sit back and enjoy. This you had so many pandas uh, in the first two, three rounds, but he was not good. Were you uh, at one stage worried that you're not going to bring him down? No, I was not worried because I knew how uh, I will catch him, you know, yeah, I, mean, I don't care about this experience, but I'm a guy, I've a lot of punches and we can go. What is the message to the support of Valmy Guy who was behind you today? I just want to say, uh, yeah, I appreciate the Lord for the support that he came out to, to, to come with us and fight for winning my, my first early the in my hometown and I really appreciate it. Uh, what went wrong there? Nothing went wrong. It was not my fault. Did you know the, uh, before, the opening before and um, how, how were you prepared? I was prepared for the fight. Uh, I didn't know the, uh, the boxer, the young boy, I was sure. I was not going to fight today, today was not going to happen again. You came in with a huge experience against a young boy who does not have experience. Did you try to use that experience against him? Ah, yes. I find the focus to give my experience and my dog to do what I want to do. Welcome back and on to our next story. She has been winning it all. That's the sensational Christine 
Boma Katiku Boma all the way from Sinyunge well she's all the way from Sinyunge to the world at the moment Christine Boma the sensation in Tokyo 2020 Olympics 200 meters silver medalist has been shortlisted for the BBC Africa Sports Personality of the Year award Boma will be up against some of the big names in African athletics well all you need to do is to vote well she will be up against that's Elliot Kuchoke Athletic Faith Kipchagon Athletics Tando Mahlangu Para Athletics Edward Mendy Football and Tatiana Schoolmaker Swimming they will be the ones competing for this um, competition voting closes at 2359 GMT on Sunday 19 November on the BBC website where the winner will be announced on Friday 7th January 2022 just focus on Africa television and radio on the BBC Sport website and you will see this. Well, Christine Bomber, we know that she has been doing wonders and she recently also won the Athletics Weekly magazine, That Sports Star of the Year. And on to your next story. On Dangwa National Correctional Services men's team and Revival's women's volleyball club were crowned champions of the Bangwin to Namibia Volleyball Cup this evening uh, last week. That was at the weekend, um, pardon me. Skippers of the Bank Winduk NVF Cup winners have expressed gratitude towards their teammates following their success at the John Vulcan Municipality Hall. On Dangwa Namibia Correctional Facility, Facility team captain Simon Ekanjo said that all team members and spectators played a role in their victory. The end team from Ondangwa secured the title after a 3 1 triumph over NDF. Revivals FC won the women's division, snatching a 3 0 win over Kutus on, in the final. The victories for both teams meant that they have qualified to the Zone 6 Club Championship to be played in Mozambique next year. I'm happy with the victory and I would like to thank the players for the job well done. It was not an easy tournament but we have made it to the end of it through teamwork and commitment. Um, that's the captain of the correctional facility Ekanjo said. Revival vice captain Captain Nokokure Kambatuku also shared the same sentiment stating the teamwork won the competition. We played as a team and this made it easy for us to get the cup. All the players are extremely happy with what they have achieved today, Kambatuku noted. The competition initially began in November at Ongwendiva as eight men and eight women teams coupled with over 320 players competed for top honours. This means that the men's quarter-final results saw that Ondangwa Correctional Services beating Yunam Katima 3-1 while six stars trounced Katima sneakers and now we also have footage that's from Erongo Volleyball Federation chairperson Edward Thomas who was ecstatic at the event. Sit back and enjoy. As the Thomas chairperson of Erongo Volleyball um, Association, it is quite a great day here. Um, what do you make of the games? Could you, could you just brief us on what they are about and what do we expect or what are we expecting for the rest of the day? Uh, this is actually the Benguenduk uh, Namibian Volleyball uh, Cup. It's one of the, one of the biggest uh, tournaments that we, the Namibian Volleyball uh, Federation used to host. Uh, actually this tournament uh, is actually the qualifications Namibian teams to go and represent Namibia at the Zone 6 Club Championship. This year, um, then next year, it will be in Mozambique, early January. So how many teams are we talking about that are here today? And is it men and women? Yeah, we are talking of uh, men and women. We have uh, uh, around uh, eight men's team and around uh, eight ladies team. Actually, it's a quarter final and then we continue with the uh, uh, semi-final and then finals. Okay, so um, today are you impressed with the turnout and the quality of volleyball here? Yeah, the quality of volleyball is okay. The turnout uh, I cannot even mention. As you can see outside, everybody is here. Uh, the whole volleyball family is here. Uh, actually, the, the, the quality of playing is a bit dropping due to COVID-19. You know, this is a contact sport and we are very much affected 
by the COVID-19 regulations. Okay, so would you love to for it to improve in next year at least? Come again? Would you love it to improve next year, the quality? Yeah, the quality obviously it will improve uh, as long as we will not stop there and there because of COVID. Let's hope the COVID-19 will not hit us again. Okay, so um, thank you so much. Thank you, Thomas. sir. Welcome back. Well, let's not forget that the Net Bank Desert Dash will be back, and this time it is back with a bank. It's happening here at the coast at Swakopmund, and it is going to be an electric, electric atmosphere. Of course, a Rongo team, including the sports rep team, will bring this to you live from the comfort of your homes. Please always sit back and you will enjoy that well for now i'll cross over that to our youth reporter rivaldo kavanga who will bring you that sportify Yes, thank you so much, JC, and welcome to another exciting edition of Spotify. My name is Rivaldo Cavanga, and today I'll be taking you through the show as we look at what happened, to, uh, what happened during the weekend with regards to our sporting events. Firstly, today, in relation to athletics, the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, through their joint program IPESS, hosted the PE for Life Guide trial run at the Mangushi Fiji Secondary School in Ventu with about 27 learners attending the event. 17 representatives from the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, PE teachers, union lecturers, education officers from the Commerce Regional Council and the Directorate of Education also took part in these practical sessions. The Physical Education Guide for Grade 8 to 9 for educators in Namibia is part of a series of guides that supports physical education for teachers, coaches and other educations to run quality physical education lessons at schools. This is also done to ensure that the uh, at, at, at athleticism is promoted in schools. Moving on, Namibia had a tough start as the under-17 women's team failed to win their match against Zambia. In turn, the team was defeated in the 2-0 opening match at the Region 5 games in Maseru Lesetho. Namibia put up a brave fight for Zambia, but Zambia was more organized in attack by scoring two goals through blessing Zulu and Gracious Tiholosi. The group stages only have Namibia, Botswana and Zambia as other countries pulled out of the competition. On Saturday, Namibian boxer Amon Kamume lost against South African opponent Boy Mohisi in the preliminaries by anonymous decision. Kamu said his opponent had more power than him but that he's taking every bout as a learning curve. Thank you. That was it from us here at Spotify. We currently know that we have the Namibian and the 17 team that is in Lesotho competing in the Region 5 games. We wish them all the best as they go on towards this tournament and would like to give them all the best of luck. But that's it from me here today at Spotify. Thank you so much for joining me. We now move over again to Jesse Jackson Gowright. And succeed with PST Bit. So, where were we? PSD bet. You play, we pay. Not for persons under the age of 18. Welcome back. And now on to your favorite sports section. That's the PST bet section. You play and they pay. Well, it's not just all about betting. It is as well as a form of corporate social responsibility. PST Bet keeps giving away and they do give away vouchers as well to those that are in need. But before we make the call today, well, I'm sure you, most of you played your bets over the weekend with the Manchester United playing. And this time they had their coach, their coach back, that's Ragnar, who was at the top of his game as well as the team itself. It is indeed also was a crucial weekend that's for Chelsea who lost to West Ham while Liverpool were victorious. It always appeared that like Liverpool 
Chelsea was running away indeed with the Premier League, but it is poised to be an exciting season with both clubs always playing at the top of their games. Unfortunately, this time around, um, the Blues drop points with Thomas Tuchel dropping points on two consecutive weekends, which doesn't serve as good news. That's for the Chelsea fans. Well, for the Liverpool fans, it is indeed that the glory days are back with their player, Virgil van Dijk, who almost missed the entire season last time around. He is back and has been solid enough to ensure that Liverpool keeps on crashing their opponents. Well, now to your social corporate responsibility. There is a message that will appear on your screen there, and that's about person who is in need who needed help that's from pst bed so we'll try and call this person online and see if they will be able to answer just bear with me there phone is ringing Well, it's unfortunate that we are unable to connect with him at the moment, but that's the message as you can see there on your screen. He is a person who actually came across this um, PST bed giveaway section this time around, and they are the lucky winner. It's actually not a he, it is a she. I don't even know why I'm saying it's a he. It's a he, Rusa Kamati, a 42 year old woman who needs assistance well she is the lucky winner and that pst bet will definitely contact her and deliver an early christmas present for her i'm sure pst bet is there to change the lives of many and it's not only about the betting so pst bet that's the likes of um lucky hater and of course, Mr. Hamunyela, who have committed and dedicated themselves to helping out those that are in need. Well, don't forget that the Premier League continues, the Champions League continue, and it is poised to be an exciting week. As well as the NetBank Desert Dash that's taking place, that's in Swakop Mund. It is going to be an electric, electric atmosphere here at the coast. And as I said earlier, that Erongo team will be here as well as the Sport Rep crew representing that's the Namibia Media Holdings and bringing to you a new ball game that's covering this event's life. From me, Jesse Jackson Kauraitha from Swakop Mund. Goodbye. <laughs>